Hi there. After watching this video, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of how conducting a spelling test remotely using Google Apps can be achieved. The three main apps I will be using are Google Slides, YouTube and Google Forms, all of which can be found within the Google Waffle icon on the Chrome browser. So we have Google Slides here, YouTube here and Google Forms which is the easiest way to access these apps. The first thing you'll need to do when you're creating a spelling test remotely is to set the words for your students to learn. I use Google Slides for this and we use the look, say, cover, type method. So the way this is achieved for the students is they will first look at the word, they then say the word stronger they then cover the word and then they will attempt to write it or type it in the first box like so and then they will then then check to see if they've got the correct answer or not in this case it's correct they, they will then go on to complete the rest of the column on the first day they receive the spelling list which would be a Monday they will then do the same for Tuesday and same on Wednesday then we will test on Thursday and hopefully any words that they get incorrect they will eventually by Tuesday or Wednesday have learnt and understand and understood the correct spelling. I share the spelling list with the students on Google Classroom which I will show you how I achieve now. So if you go to Google Classroom so if I show you in Google Apps if you go to Google Classroom and then select the class you wish to create your spelling test for. So I'm going to use the demo class. I'm going to set classwork. So if I click on create, first I'm going to create a topic. So I'm going to call it weekly spellings. And then I'm going to add my spelling list for my students. So if I go and create again, and then assignment, um, I'm going to call it spelling list one there are no points on offer for this it's not a marked piece of work the due date would be for the first day of the spelling test the topic is weekly spellings we've just created instructions would be please complete one column of the spelling list Per day. And then you add your spelling list from Google Drive. And there it is. Make sure you select make a copy for each student so they all have their own list to complete. Otherwise, they would all be editing one document, which um, would be quite chaotic. And then you could just click assign. And there it is. Under weekly spellings, we have spelling list one, and the students can then access that and complete the spelling list as I demonstrated earlier. The next stage is to create or record video clips of you, the teacher, saying each of the words in the spelling list in a sentence. So, for instance, the first word, stronger, we could use this sentence as an example of that word in a sentence. However, the word stronger has been blanked out as they need to spell that themselves. So it could look something like this. Can you spell this word? Stronger. On Monday, the wind was stronger. Stronger. So yes, you would need to record a short video clip just like this for each of the words. I've used the inbuilt uh, screen recording software on a Mac. However, you could also use um, software such as Loom or Screencastify. The only difference being when you finish recording a screen record on a Mac, it does automatically save to the computer 
However, with Lumens Greencastify, you would need to, as I will show you now, you would need to download the video to your computer. So then you could upload it um, to YouTube at a later date, which I will demonstrate later on. So that is a top tip to remember. Otherwise you will be unable to upload the video. Okay, so the next stage is in fact uploading your video to YouTube. So what you will need to do is um, go to YouTube. So you can either search it in the search bar or go straight to your Google Apps and then open YouTube here. Okay, either way works. From this point, you need to go on to the free bars here and then click your videos. And this will open the YouTube studio, which is where you add, edit, etc. any videos. You will need to um, select upload videos, select files, and then the example um, video I showed you for Stronger, I have recorded earlier, and I'm going to click open. So just before the video is uploaded, you must give it a title, an appropriate title. So I'm going to call it Word 1. And then YouTube requires you to um, let them know if the video is suitable for kids or not. And in this case, yes, it is suitable for kids. So we just click yes. And then one more thing we need to do is the visibility of our video. So you could... Um, you could make a video public so everyone could watch a video if they search the title and you could have it private so only you and people who choose can watch a video but I prefer unlisted which is the most efficient way for me to um, you, uh, share the video so unlisted means anyone with a video link can watch your video so you you're the only one who can distribute that link originally okay so if I click unlisted At this point, I have now uploaded my first video. Okay, so you would need to repeat the same steps for the remaining nine words. So now I'm going to show you, just with this example video, how you can start to create your online spelling test. Okay, so if we go to our uh, Google Classroom again, under weekly spellings, we're going to create our quiz assignment. So we're going to call it spelling test one. Um, instructions, simple, can just be uh, complete the test. The points, so we have 10 words spelled, so we can put 10 points there. The due date, whenever you so wish topic is weekly spellings grade importing so uh, as it says here so classroom can import grades for assignments so grade importing automatically limits each form to one response per user which I do want because I don't want them to use trial and error to improve their score it collects email addresses and restricts respond responses to users in your domain so that is what I'm going to do because that makes um, that's basically fulfills all the criteria I want from my quiz. So if I go blank quiz, now we can create our quiz. Again, we need to give our quiz a title, so I'm just going to call it um, spelling test one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in here too. Okay, so now the first question I like to do is just um, full name. I'd like, I'd like the students to enter their full name at the beginning just to make sure I know which student has completed which um, form. Um, the response for that should be a short answer and they can just simply put in their full name here. The answer key does not need to be touched at this point. Now we can add our first video for them to spell. So the first, so the, sorry, the first video with the word that they need to spell. So add video, we must select. And the only way we can add videos to a Google form or quiz is 
through YouTube, which is why we must upload our videos to YouTube in the first place. So if we go to YouTube, as, we, as you remember, we made our video unlisted, which means only you have the link to then share with whoever you want to watch the video. So if we copy the link to our clipboard, go back to our spelling test and go to the URL and then paste that video will now appear and then you can select it and it will be added to your um, spelling test. Okay. Um, and then the title for the video I will call use word one, which is the same as the video title on YouTube. And then we can add our response for them, our question for them to respond to this question so how they spell the word stronger so we click add question and then I would say spell word one here so the, the, the method they will respond will be a short answer our answer key is where we type the correct answer so the quiz can self mark so the correct answer is uh, stronger I like to do a lowercase s as well just to make sure both answers are accepted. One point is on offer. If you select this box it will mark any other answer as incorrect so I will select that. You could also add feedback for a correct answer and incorrect answer so praise or constructive criticism respectively and then we can click done. Okay so that is one word completed. So we have the word in a sentence and myself asking the student to spell this word and then they can just below spell word one here, enter how they think the word is spelt in the box. And then you, in order to create this um, spelling test completely, you just follow the exact same steps as I've shown you, but for, for the remaining nine words. When you're uploading your videos to YouTube, you can select more than one video at a time to upload. Okay, so you don't just have to do one at a time, you can upload all 10 at once, but you will need to go into each one as so, edit and title description. Um, sorry, you need to go into each one, click on details to make sure you've selected if it's suitable for kids and also. Um, make sure you select visibility as unlisted. Okay, in terms of tracking students' responses and grades over a period of time, once you have um, completed your test and you have and you're ready with it, then you can assign it. So if I click assign. In terms of tracking, because we did select, um, we did select for Google Forms to automatically import the grades. So once a student has completed the quiz and got their their grade, you can import them here. Okay, but also alternatively, if you go into the form itself and then click the pencil icon. You can click on here to view the responses. Okay, and then you can, each individual student's grade will appear here and you can go through them. And you can also um, create a spreadsheet with the results by clicking this button here. Okay, and another uh, thing you can do if, is if you go back to the home page of your class, you can actually see the marks um, appear for each assignment you make. So the spelling test assignment all the grades will, or all the marks out of 10 will appear here too. So that's, there are many different ways in which you can um, track and um, view your students' um, marks and progress over a period of time. I hope you found this video insightful. Thank you for